So we'd had a department meeting and we were talking about finding out what some of our alums were doing. And I realized we've got some people out there that are, are really doing pretty well in the media industries. There's nothing like getting a preview from somebody who is currently working in the industry and could tell you well, not only it's, what, what's happening right now, but what's coming. I am currently a freelance casting producer. When you're a freelance casting producer, you're brought in from the production companies to find stories. Um, and sometimes it's characters uh, for certain uh, shows. We have a freelance editor, and I typically will send her like time codes for of what we're going to edit. Um, and the fun part is kind of coming and doing the um, more of the creative side to it. So like putting the music in, I use a lot of different um, composers and you know sound effects and trying to make it more of an experience than just you know a morning newscast. Something from us, something from a text, and something from our speakers not all the same message necessarily, but messages that complement each other. It would be a better learning experience for our students. We wanted to make sure that we cover the basis, introduce proper terminology, and then kind of wrap that all in a certain kind of theoretical concept to help us understand what is the really influence of media in society and how that all plays. There was all these uh, kind of pieces of advice about some specific skills that you need for the, for, for the industry. You know, be prepared to for change. Um, things might not always work out the way envisioned. Ultimately, you have to adapt. You know, be persistent, but not to the point you're annoying. There, and sometimes you have to find creative ways to contact professionals if you're trying to get into their field or break into their field. And then there's these general kind of uh, pieces of advice about the things that you should do in college to kind of prep yourself. I would make as many films um, as possible. Like if you're interested in filmmaking or, you know, um, this is the time where you don't have any financial obligations and you have time, which are two things that you will not have <laughs> once you get out of Holland. A lot of our work was sort of front-loaded in which we spent a good nine, mm -hmm. ten weeks really doing a heavy, yeah. uh, concentrated work with the, the course book, the current case studies on the internet, and then the live conversations with live speakers really kind of jived and provided a really comprehensive picture. The, the alums would say things that wasn't quite like it was in the textbook and that was great too because we reminded them repeatedly throughout the term the textbook's a textbook, it's written by academics like us, they know a whole lot about theory, a lot about the industry, but they don't know best, as much about the industry as someone who's in the industry. It turned out to be a fairly dynamic class yeah. in which students were engaged, the, the, the the content of the class was engaging uh, and then the alumna really brought everything together.